we can both have hoodies on. It's like it's cold outside or something. Is it? Yeah, we're like we're like hackers. We're over here hacking. We just can't work any of the computer of the technology, but we're serious hackers. We're coming for you. Yeah. Oh man. All right. Um, hello, everybody. So uh, you would think that it's freezing right now because we both have caps. It is. Well, it is freezing. All right. I don't know about you in Texas, but over here in Los Angeles. This what is it in Los on. Angeles right now? Oh, it's freezing. It's freezing. But what is freezing? <laughs> I'll tell you now. I'll tell you now. Freezing is exactly uh, Los Angeles, 49 degrees. The high today is going to be 72. The low is 48. I'm over here. I have socks on. I have underwear <laughs> on. I never wear underwear, but I have it on today, let me tell you. Knitted by my own sister. God bless her. Yeah. You have the cool Sons of Anarchy vest on, which is actually authentic, right? Like that's really something that someone stole from the Sons of Anarchy set, right? I don't know if it was stolen. And I just think like when they when they end the show, it's like, oh, we don't need those anymore. And the costume girls just go, oh, okay, thank you. And they take them. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that last part sounds like theft. <laughs> okay, well, I wasn't involved in any of that. All right. So you just gotta be careful. I am an Irish immigrant, you know. So thank you. I mean, yeah, I mean like my 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 one pinstripe suit that I have was handmade in Italy, but it was hand stolen in Ireland. You know what I mean? I just get a little sensitive when people start mentioning theft around me. Oh man. <laughs> I just had a vision of the poor kids from uh, Angela's ashes with, a, you know, they always had those sad Mas expressions. Ma yeah. Masturbating to sheep. Oh, oh, no. see, that woman, you see that woman at church? She had her ankles out. She had her ankles on the whore. That'd be, that'd be Amber Heard should play a role like that. She should be, she should go back. She should produce some film set in Ireland. That's about actual women's oppressed women. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or yeah. France. There's actually no. a lot that, yeah, if she was willing to take on certain roles that she could do, I think people would accept her as a villain in certain things. Dude, she'd have to learn to act. Yeah, that's the prop. That's the real impediment, actually. <laughs> oh, her star power. We're in the trial when she's talking about her star power and her friends all around the world. It's like, hang on a second, sweetheart. Okay. Throughout this court case, we've now just found that your career was on the out until Rum Diaries and your career, even though you're a wit Johnny Depp, was also not going great. And it took him talking to not one, not two, but three CEOs at the studio to get you into Aquaman. And then her acting in Aquaman is on, but it ruins the entire film. Like I'm not being dramatic when I say that, but her acting is. It's not great. Um, my name is Mira. <laughs> What's up with all? It's like, it's not, you know, yeah, it's Hamlet. Know. We're not on stage, you know, at a <laughs> pantomime. Oh no, here comes the bad guy over here. Oh, he just gave me a horrible thought, actually. Can you imagine her doing Hamlet? Can you imagine her doing Shakespeare? She got, no, but she overacts so much, she could be okay on stage. That's the <laughs> thing. It's like maybe she just, maybe she's just a bit of an idiot. She missed right? her calling. Like, went to the wrong <laughs> classes. I, I'm still amazed that she, somebody didn't say to her, hey, your fake crying is not working. Stop. Do you not think the lawyers? And yeah, everybody around to her, like it'd be a real sad day if there was nobody in the world in her universe saying, hey, honey, you need to fucking pull it back here, bro. Just Maybe they were. I mean, I guess she, she actually didn't cry, fake cry as much the second time she was on the stand as ever. She got up once. She got up twice. But then I, I, it was like a surprise thing at the end where it was like, OK, so we're going to let her get back up on the stage a third time, even though everybody, all the witnesses has been. She just wants to say one more fucking final thing. OK, we're going to let her get up there. And she well, gets they faded her well, right? Because Depp got up there again. They knew she was going to get up there. Got her to confess. Camille. That, Camille. Camille. But yeah. That's why I wrote it about Johnny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are we fucking yeah. doing here? You know? Yeah. I know um, it was really like in a few, it was in a few good men moment. I even made a little video about it where I spliced yeah. up a few good men with that because it, it was like, uh, it was brilliant. And it just, she basically admitted to the thing that she was on <laughs> trial oh, for. Yes, so, oh you know. man. Well, it reminds me of like that story about, you know, when, when Paul Bettany and Jennifer Connelly went to Johnny Depp's Island to hang out with their kids and, and Amber to her was so rude, made their 18 year old son cry. And then Johnny Depp was like, Hey, you should try just like chilling out and being wrong. Sometimes you don't have to basically like, you don't have to be a fucking bitch to everyone <laughs> now can you imagine that like help she made an 18 year old cry i'm not no offense to him but like what was like she johnny saying to depp. Him? johnny depp like no I, no no but this is the thing there's two growing men there and where was this child's mother as well jennifer connelly she doesn't well, I guess she didn't she fucking was... take it lying down so yeah, well, he didn't say. Yeah, I'm, I'm, no, because they could if they had said that that would have been a whole dip because it would have to remember story. tom cruise's film that jennifer connelly was in 
Top Gun 2 was was uh, was premiering at the same time that the trial was going on. So there was no fucking way they were mentioned. Yeah, Jennifer that's true. All he said, well, so it was interesting, though, like he what Depp was kind of trying to explain is why he was trying to explain, as I remember, why he and Paul Bettany were sending those texts about Amber. And what, what he's trying to say is basically, look, Amber made his 18 year old son cry and not only cry, but run away. Uh. <laughs> It's, I know it's terrible. No, it's a trauma, it's about no, the sun. Like, sure, experience. We know how crazy Amber yeah. Heard is. So like, it's nothing against the sun, but like that, you can imagine that Paul Bettany, like that's one reason why he does not like this bitch. <laughs> yeah. I mean, very much so, but also for Johnny Depp and Paul Bettany, like how do our two fully grown men there? I can understand them from a point of view of like, all right, let the boy stand on his own. Let the boy stand on his own. But to the point where after like five minutes, it's like, oh, I actually don't want to listen to this anymore. So right. I, I Okay. Well, they didn't, want, they didn't want to lose any of their fingers. So they were, you're telling me that these two fully I'm grown men together were living in fear of reprimand from Amber Heard. I mean, that, she's a beast. <laughs> she's a beast. She is a beast. <laughs> she is a beast. She lives up to her reputation. Hey, that should tell you something that two fully grown men were not able to shut her down. <laughs> Like I've been, at, I'm Irish, man. I've been at sat loads. Like, like you're Texas, you're a nice girl. We all have come from colorful families. Everybody out there. But we've all been sitting at tables when people are kicking off. All it takes is one person to go, hey, hey, hey. We're trying to have a nice time. Shut the fuck up. And that's it. You well, know, maybe, or, maybe, or, in- or hey, like I, the most powerful that I've ever seen it be done is just somebody go, hey, stop. You know, and yeah, but it. maybe that's telling us something about how out of control Amber is that that it wouldn't have worked. I don't know. <laughs> oh, the, oh, you think that wouldn't have worked? I think that's how. I don't think that Johnny Depp and Paul Bettany are weak guys or anything. I'm not, and I know you weren't saying that, but like, I think, I think whatever she was doing to make that 18 year old cry, like, I think she was probably so out of control, drunk. Like, I think probably everybody was just like. <laughs> <laughs> wow so you actually think that, Je- that johnny depp and paul bettany might have been saying hey amber leave it alone oh that's my son you can't talk to a boy like that you're wrong and she just as a drunken fucking sailor excuse the pun about the pirates of the caribbean yeah. just the drunken sailor just kept going off fucking berating you shut the fuck don't you fuck she could have been sit. are you telling me that you think she was sitting there taking the piss out of paul bettany and johnny depp and the 18 year old at the same time and nobody was doing anything I mean, she's a beast. She can't. Ah, <laughs> totally right. Because, yeah, when the women kick off, see, this is me. This is probably my Irish male, a little bit of toxic male chauvinism showing through here. But, yeah, I guess if a woman is at the table and she's kicking off and she's giving out to anybody, yeah, you won't say. I mean, Johnny Depp, okay, so first, you know, Johnny Depp, he's a pretty chill guy. And maybe he thought it like wasn't his, like, I, I, I don't know. I just think it's an uncomfortable situation when you have someone, we're talking about someone who was drunk. Johnny said she, she, I think she was, she'd been, they'd been drinking or whatever. I assume remember. that. We can assume it. So um, I'm assuming that she was so out of control that it was, it, it had gone beyond like telling someone to be quiet. And it was like, basically like, okay, this is like, I mean, she, she's cut off his finger before. I think, I think probably anywhere Amber Heard goes and, and drinks that she becomes like shockingly, embarrassingly volatile. And so I would imagine that they're all just kind of sitting there and like, and he's probably telling her to try, like, trying to calm her down. And she's like, no, you know, you know how she gets. Yeah, fuck, dude, you're right. That's real low life. That's real low life. <laughs> well, she trailer. said she's trailer. Yeah. Didn't she say she was? She could go trailer from like. She said she can go like. She can go to like full trailer in an instant. Yeah, that's right. She did say that. See, my, <laughs> my thing was always that like that. That's real low life traveler shit. Like you'd see in the pub on a Sunday. <laughs> Traveler yeah. means gy- gypsy, right? Is that, gypsy, I don't understand what you mean. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the people hate. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The gypsies, like the people that that uh, that the uh, H-star was trying to get rid of out of Europe in the 1930s and 40s. Gypsies, right? I was like, what are you talking about? Did you say H-star? What did you just H-star. say? The big H. You know, <laughs> I don't want to say his name. We'll probably get deplatformed. They're fucking. No, but what did you call him? H-star. 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 Hater, hater. Oh, I thought you meant H H star, like the stars on the on the fucking flag star, (laughs) and before that a H. So H A B C D E F G H. (laughs) What is a H? H, like Harry, like the name Harry. You mean you mean H? H. (laughs) Hey, look. You fucking Americans haven't got a clue about the English language. We Irish, we were all pressed by the English for fucking hundreds of years. You just want to talk about slavery? Give us a call, all right? We'll educate you, for Christ. I know how to pronounce the English. The H-star. I was like, what is that? 
<laughs> oh my <laughs> god, god. It's too uh, early in the morning. So you think Amber Heard is that wild? Yeah. She was just, but so this is the thing. So she cut off his finger. You're saying that when she was at Paul Bettany and the kid are at the table. So every time one of these incidents happened, she was basically just being emboldened of like, oh shit, I got away from that. Oh, I got away. I think with it's it. probably like having a feral animal around you at all times. And you're not really sure like what to, <laughs> what to do. <laughs> Man, That's what I think of her as, as a feral toxic, animal. Yeah. yeah. What a toxic fucking person. I was around the girl yesterday that's bipolar and has, um, what was, uh, borderline? Borderline personality. Wait, you get those two confused. So do, do you know which no, one no, it was no. for sure? 